In this video, we're going to show you how to be able to access uh, your wireless network's uh, APN or internet settings, so you're able to go online directly from your phone. This is usually a problem for some people who uh, unlock their phone from one network to another. Uh, once they place a new SIM card in, they're able to make calls right away. However, in terms of accessing the internet or getting email, that doesn't work until the, uh, the internet settings for the new network have been installed. Now this phone is uh, originally a TELUS phone and uh, currently there's a Rogers SIM card in it. This phone has already been unlocked um, just to prove normally um, when you type the sequence 2945 normally the sequence uh, brings up the unlock menu however it's saying your phone is not personalized meaning the phone has already been previously unlocked this is one of the phones that we've unlocked already we've used uh, in a previous video demonstration as well. Um, now, if we try to access the browser, automatically it says this web page is not available. Even if we try Google or any other page, nothing really works um, since the settings have not been set yet. Uh, this is a question we've been receiving a lot lately, especially with all the new smartphones. So we're just going to go through it really quick. Now, this procedure is different from one model to another. However, it's very general and it's uh, not very hard. Um, so it should be fairly common with most phones. Now, we're going to open up the menu and uh, find uh, the settings. Now, under here, it says wireless and networks. Most phones, it's under uh, networks as well. And if I scroll down a little bit, it says here mobile networks and other options, set options for roaming networks and APNs. Now here's where you can enable disable roaming, any of that. Now we're interested in the access point. So access point names. Now, as you can see here, the TELUS settings have been um, set into this phone. So we're going to so we're going to add a new APN uh, into the phone now. Each network has its own APN settings. Uh, those settings, you can get them for free from your network directly by calling your network's uh, technical support. Um, you can check out our website. We have a list of the most popular network's APN settings, or you can email us in case we don't have it. We can most likely get it for you. So I'm just going to set the name. I might fast forward the video while editing in case this might be a little boring for some. So once we have to the name, we're going to enter the APN here. And for Rogers, the APN is internet.com for Android phones. Now, that also works for um, most phones, if not all. However, we're just confirming that this also works for Android phones. Proxy leaves that empty. Port, we don't need that. Password is WAP, W A P. The MCC and the MNC have already been re um, read from the SIM card automatically, so we don't need to worry about those. Now, Authentication type, APN type. How shall I leave that blank? Save that. Go back to access point. Turn Rogers on just by clicking on it. And we automatically see the two download bars have showed up uh, trying to connect to the network. So we're going to give it a minute and test it. I see 3G has showed up there. And there we go. We'll test it with another website just to make sure. Since a lot of browsers uh, cache Google.
And there we go. The phone is already online and is ready to browse and anything you want. So just to uh, recap, menu, settings, wireless network, mobile networks, access point names, and we added a new APM from here. Now go to our website, www.ottawapc.ca, and you'll, you'll be able to get a list of uh, the popular APMs. Thank you, and have a good day.